What's up, everybody? Isaac here with Civil Engineering Academy. I'm excited to jump on this quick episode with you. And what I wanted to do is look at 2020 in review and also look ahead to 2021 as to what's going on with Civil Engineering Academy, what we've released in 2022 and some of the fun things that we've done, and then looking ahead at 2021, what we have planned. So this episode is going to be a 2020 in review episode, and it's going to be a fun one, and it's coming right up. All right, what's up? Welcome to another episode of our fun podcast, uh, as well as this video. And one of the things I wanted to look at as we near the end of 2020 is just look at a, a review of what's been happening in the world of Civil Engineering Academy. Can you believe how fast a year has flown by? Has it been crappy? Of, of course it has. You know, we've got the great toilet paper shortage of 2020. Hand sanitizer was flowing off, flying off the shelves. All that fun stuff was was just insanity. We've had civil unrest. We've had elections. We've had all kinds of crap thrown at us. It's just been a crazy year. Kids homeschooled now and, you know, wife's going crazy. I'm going crazy. We're all going crazy, okay? That's the truth. But you, we can always look back. And the mind has an interesting thing of filtering things. And one of the things that it does is it can still find things that we're grateful for. And choosing gratitude helps you psychologically, mentally, physically, spiritually, in all kinds of ways to find gratitude in your life. And so I looked back and I first wanted to start this out and just list a couple things that I was grateful for in 2020, you know, to get the ball rolling a little bit. Plus, there's a, a really cool quote that I like to uh, would like to start with, and it's actually by Roy T. Bennett, and it actually says, "Be thankful for everything that happens in your life. It's all an experience, and isn't that true? It's all an experience." So, a couple things that I'm personally grateful for that I wanted to share with you. First, despite what 2020 has brought to us with quarantining and all that jazz, I have actually found uh, a reason—not a reason, but more time to spend with family, right? Getting to know my wife and my kids a little bit better, being able to reconnect, um, taking a break from every lesson and birthday party and aquarium and zoo visit and everything else that's going on in the world uh, in your kids' lives. So taking a breather from all that and just being able to spend time with family was, was kind of nice, actually. And that's one thing I was grateful for. Another one that I was grateful for is that I was able to spend a little more time in nature um, you know, a lot of people are getting outside. My father-in-law, who owns a bike store, couldn't keep bikes on the shelf because everybody's getting getting outside, which is awesome. So I've done the same thing, and I just have a new appreci appreciation for nature and all that entails. Now, winter is coming. We can still do stuff outside, but that's just one thing looking back that I was really appreciative of. Yeah, nature. All right, the next thing I thought of is uh, technology, actually. The advancements in how we do meetings and everything like this, there's so many tools at our disposal, and it just came out, it seems like these things really got rolling at the right time, where everybody can convert to doing Zoom meetings or doing stuff on Facebook or Skype or whatever it is, Google. Um, all of these tools can help us meet uh, together and, and talk, right? It's pretty sweet. So technology is another thing that I'm actually really grateful for. It's helped me to stay connected with friends, family, and especially you guys. So it's been fun to do that. So all of those things are um, things I'm grateful for. Lastly, I am grateful for you guys. If you've been following me on this journey of Civil Engineering Academy and know where we've come from and where we're going and things of that nature. I appreciate you being and joining with us. It's been a fun journey for us. So thank you for joining us. Thank you for being a subscriber, for being a listener, for being a, uh, subscribing on a, a podcast episode or however you found us in this weird world of the internet. Uh, I'm thankful for it. So appreciate it. Uh, and that are the things that I'm grateful for. All right, having said that, let's get into looking back into 2020. So obviously COVID-19 had some serious impacts with test taking. Um, in fact, we did an interview uh, with the NCE NCES director of exams and we talked about those changes. So the impacts, they had to cancel an exam, they reopened October's exams. I'm getting hearing tons of results from people that took the October exam and those have been fun to hear uh, when they get a passing score. But they opened it up in October, and they couldn't accommodate everybody because of restrictions on how many people could be in a conference room. And so they opened another one up for certain areas in January. So 
it's been a real crazy time to take an exam. Obviously, that's had effect on Civil Engineering Academy as well, just because people are preparing for these exams at different times and they aren't sure when they should be preparing. And there's just a lot of questions surrounding preparing for your exams. So in the interview I had, you'll find out that um, things were accelerated, right? The computer-based testing exam was accelerated from going uh, for the PE. It was initially going in 2023 CBT, computer-based testing and it got bumped to 2022. So it's coming earlier. So if you are studying for the exam, my recommendation, if you want it to be open book for you, and if you can take it, 2021 is gonna be your year, 2021. So go check it out uh, and go register. And if you need a course, definitely we're gonna talk about that too. So we've had special areas opened up for computer testing. We've had COVID canceled exams, and, and so it's just kind of been a big mess there. Uh, but they are getting things back online. Uh, like I said, October was open. April's, they're moving forward. They know protocols. They know how to be safe now and things of that nature. So uh, people that, uh, like I said, were reporting to me have come from the course that we offer, which is called the Ultimate Civil PE Review Course. And if you are interested in checking that out, go to civilpereviewcourse.com. All right, speaking of courses, let's get to talking about that. Um, like I said, I've had a lot of people reach out to me about the exams, and a lot of people have told me that they were able to pass, despite COVID and all it brought, they were able to pass the PE exam, and I've kind of wanted to share that experience with everyone else. So one, if you found yourself taking that exam in 2020, I applaud you. Uh, despite all the life's challenges, you were able to still do it, and I think that's awesome. If you have found yourself with a figling grade, don't let that get you down. Just let this be a stepping stone. Don't lose the motivation and the fire to keep doing it. Register for the very next one and keep going. So I wanted to read a couple of uh, people that took our course and passed the exam. One was from Arthur. He said, I passed. Thanks, Isaac Oakson, for putting together this course. As an ME, so he's mechanical, uh, he was in need of some serious help to pass the exam taken other courses previously and it didn't go well for me uh couldn't have done it without your course and guidance so awesome way to go arter uh so excited for you and your future another one i got is from eric and he said he just received his results about passing he took the pe structural test in oklahoma was able to ace it and the course that we had was a huge help he graduated uh with a bachelor's in petroleum engineering so not civil engineering he got a civil engineering job and noticed he needed to get his license. And so with the help of the program that we offered and his job experience and practicing tests and putting in the work, he was able to do it. And now he is so relieved. Uh, just two more. So Haley said this was the best Christmas gift that she has received. Obviously it is. Uh, this was her second time taking the exam. First time she tried it on her own. Second time using the course, and it made all the difference in the world. So congratulations, Haley. Excited for you. Last one is kind of funny. It's from a lady named Shannon. She just got her results, and she said they literally just came in. So excited she could barf right now. So that's the anticipation we're looking for and the excitement we're looking for on these things. So that was exciting to share with you. Um, and people also took the FE exam and seen a lot of success with that. We do have an FE course to help people if, if you're studying for that at civilfereviewcourse.com. And a lot of people found themselves taking that in 2020 and acing that as well. So those are bright spots in 2020 looking back that I wanted to share with you as well. And it's something we have a fun time participating in as uh, we have courses to help people and they report back to us. So pretty fun stuff. So congratulations to everybody that passed the FE and the PE exam. Uh, looking forward to even more passers, test takers, people acing it in the year of 2021. All right, let's take a look at what was released in 2020 with Civil Engineering Academy. We had a, quite a few things that we released this year, and it's been really awesome. Looking back, actually, one of the main things that we've released was the Civil Engineering Academy podcast. So if you're not a subscriber, go check it out, civilengineeringacademy.com slash podcast. 
And we've listed over 64 episodes now as of this recording. And we've been listened to in over 64 countries. So maybe there's a correlation with that. I don't know. Maybe. And we've had about over 23,000 listens. So that's been fun to see grow. It was just kind of a harebrained idea to start that. But I'm glad we did. And we've had some very um, awesome and inspiring people on the show, include like, including, like I said, uh, our uh, NCES exams director. We've also got uh, Melody Gonzalez, who had a viral post on LinkedIn about her journey to the U.S. as a single mother. Go check that out. Um, we've also had others from uh, the creator of Engineer for Free that produces YouTube videos on engineering course topics, like straight up college topics. And we were able to interview him as well. We'll have a lot of fun guests in the future. But looking back at 2020, this was just a fun, you know, harebrained idea I had to do this. And it's really grown into something special. And we're going to continue doing that in the future. So uh, who knows where we're going to go. But we're going to have fun episodes with fun interviews. I love to interview everybody, whether you're in school studying for the PE uh, or the FE you're out of school or just anywhere along your journey i've been interviewed presidents of companies down to the guy in college so uh anywhere and anything in between i like carrying your journey into civil engineering and it's always a good time um so podcast is definitely a highlight of the year 2020 and one uh, i want to highlight <laughs> All right, our PE depth courses we also released in 2020. So students of the Ultimate Civil PE Review course had suggested that they wanted a little more specific instruction as it relates to their specific depth subject for their PE. And so I've teamed up with Andy Richardson, uh, who is, actually owns his own civil engineering company, and he was also a big part of PPI and pioneering like online education for those studying for the PE exam. So I've teamed up with him. We now offer all five subjects, all five depth subjects. We bundled them all into one course, and we called it the Ultimate Civil Depth Review Courses. You can go check those out at civilengineeringacademy.com slash depth courses. And with that, you'll get all of it. So a lot of people have, I've had emails where people are like, why do I need all of it? I only need one section. I'm saying, well, isn't it better to have it all? Like if you struggled with a particular subject in water resources and you're registered for the geotech, then you have it. You know, you can go get more material. Or let's say you find yourself changing your depth section. Well, you've got it, okay? You get all the material. So whether you want it or not, you could leave it out if you wanted to. We decided to bundle it all together and offer that. And it's been really helpful for people, and it's been a really exciting project to launch. So I promise you won't find a better deal out there. Go check it out, civilengineeringacademy.com slash depth courses, and uh, get some sweet instruction from Andy. Okay, one of the other things I want to note in 2020 is the addition and also our team members at Civil Engineering Academy. I could not run this without, without them. Uh, you know, going solo with a lot of this stuff can be very difficult, but having other team members to help is awesome. I have Francisca who helps me answer a lot of questions. In fact, she's so quick, she gets the questions before I even look at them. Uh, and those are apply to people that are taking our review courses, whether it's the FE or the PE or the depth review courses. And so she's been awesome. We also have Jason who's jumped on board to help write uh, and um, do video practice problems for us. And that's been fun to have. And then we also have Mathili who's helping us to write FE problems. And we're actually going to be coming out with a CBT exam a uh, computer-based exam for those in our FE course. So if you're not registered, you'll want to be because that's going to be coming out soon. Uh, go to civilfereviewcourse.com, get signed up if you want to take part of that. So uh, anyway, go learn more about our team members. If you go to civilengineeringacademy.com, you can go to the About tab and you'll find our team members. Go learn about them. They're awesome. And I just want to say thank you to them. They've been great and uh, couldn't run the show without them. So... That's one of the other highlights in 2020 I definitely wanted to point out. All right, so now that we've covered that, let's look at what's coming in the future. In the future, okay? What's coming in the future? A lot of stuff's coming in the future. I'm going to talk about it. And what is coming uh, is that we're going to be doing more live video practice problems. A lot of students of our course are wanting more live sessions, so we've scheduled those. In fact, we've got three lined up in January. 
um, and we'll be announcing those. So if you're not a member of our newsletter, join up, civilengineeringacademy.com slash newsletter. You'll be the first to hear about this, but we've got three live study sessions happening, some workshops going over pra practice problems, uh, and it's going to be covering water resources on January the 8th. We'll be doing more throughout the year as it relates to the PE, the FE, and other uh, areas. So definitely live study sessions are going to be um, happening more and more often. So we're excited about that. Another thing I'm looking forward to in 2021 is a complete site redesign. Uh, we've enjoyed our, our site as it is. And as we are moving forward, we've got a new site. It's definitely a fresh look at Civil Engineering Academy. And I'm excited to share that with you. It should be coming here very shortly into 2021. So that's coming. Um, another awesome thing coming in 2021 is the California Seismic and Survey Review Course. I've been working with Mark, my brother. In fact, he's been basically leading this um, and coming up with a review course for those two subjects. And so if you are looking to take the PE and to get that in California, whether you're in California or you need the PE in California, we are developing a course for the survey and seismic course, and it's going to be awesome. They will be combined, and uh, that should be coming out in 2021 and looking forward to it. So if you need that, go sign up for our newsletter too because, hint, hint, there might be a discount if you need that uh, reference, that help. So go check it out. Go sign up for our newsletter. Okay, another thing in 2021 we look forward to is podcast interviews. I've had a lot of awesome guests in the past, and we will have more awesome guests in the future. Uh, if you guys have any references or suggestions or people you think we should be interviewing, you know, leave a comment in the video. I'd love to uh, hear about it so we can reach out to them. But I've enjoyed those I've interviewed with from all walks of life, and we look forward to what 2021 will bring with our podcast guests and know that there will be plenty of awesome ones coming. So that's another sweet highlight in 2021. Okay, and lastly, <clears throat> one of the highlights in 2021 is that we are doing more career advice. So I actually do some coaching, and we'll leave a link in the description on the coaching that you can get. <clears throat> but I'm helping people with their LinkedIn profile, their cover letters, their resumes. Any engineer that needs some polish on that, I'm willing to help you uh, if you want to go check it out. And we'll also be in the future hopefully creating a course that will help you boost your own career by taking a real hard look at your resume so you can land the job of your dreams, right? You got into civil engineering, um, you've got your FE, you've got your PE, and maybe you want to make a job switch or you're just in the hunt looking for a better job, and we're going to help you do that. So some great career advice is definitely going to be coming. If you need help with any of those uh, things I talked about, a LinkedIn review, a resume, or a profile re or a cover letter review, shoot me an email and I'll help you out. That's Isaac at civilengineeringacademy.com, I-S-A-A-C. So definitely hit me up if you need help with some career advice. So guys, that's going to wrap up 2020 as a whole for us. Um, I myself actually landed COVID back in October. I had pretty mild symptoms, so don't worry about me. I got over it and I'm good, but I can definitely see how it could take a turn for the worse. Definitely had some head pressure, a little bit of chest stuff, and loss of taste and smell was definitely the worst. That lasted for two weeks. I couldn't taste a Dorito, man. That, that, that really sucked. <laughs> but in all seriousness, I'm happy the vaccine's coming out. I had my, definitely mild symptoms, but definitely could turn for the worse. But 2020 is getting behind us. We're moving into 2021. I'm excited for that. Um, taking a look back at things, I can guarantee that you yourself can find a few bright st spots in there as well. And hopefully you do that because, um, you know, choosing gratitude over all the stuff that's happened in your life is definitely a good thing and one that will help you uh, in your life. So guys, thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this little review of 2020 at Civil Engineering Academy. Uh, as we look forward to 2021, we have some great things and it'll be very awesome. Thanks for joining me. See you next time. Bye. What's up, everybody? Isaac, Civil Engineering Academy. Hey, I hope you enjoyed that episode of a quick review of 2020 for Civil Engineering Academy. You know, I have some visions and goals of where 2021 will head with this, but I really have no idea where it's headed totally. But uh, we can always try to point in the right direction. 
But there's going to be a lot of cool stuff coming in 2021, including everything that I mentioned before in the episode. Uh, but if you need help with anything related to the FE, the PE, career advice, go to civilengineeringacademy.com, and it's all there to help you. And you can just shoot me an email if you want to commiserate, celebrate, uh, you know, whatever it is. I'm there for you. So anyway, hope you're doing well. Stay safe, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.